once again I've decided to come back to one of my favorite dive spots on the Indian Ocean in Mozambique. The very shallow lagoon of Flamingo Bay with sandy bottom covered in seagrass is a perfect spot to hunt for weird kind of creatures. Using my camera of course. But let me assure you it's not always that easy to get it right. Out of every marine creature that you're trying to film, many have only a limited amount of patience. And they will leave you with only what you have managed to get during this usually short period of time. In most cases, it's never long enough. Sometimes the object will simply swim away, like this cuttlefish. Little filefish is so camera shy it will not swim out from behind a sea pen. And a tiny and cute boxfish will slowly retreat, constantly keeping an eye at you. There is one species of fish, however, that will give you as much attention as you need. The fiery lionfish, by some called a firefish is one of my favorite animals, obviously because it is easy to film. But also, I really enjoy watching its beautifully spread out wings, as well as the self-confidence it has in this defense mechanism. To another predator's eye, it appears much bigger than it actually is. Their red-white skin colors scream danger and boast venomous spiky fin rays in addition. All of the above make it a formidable target and make them very stubborn and fearless even though they are not a big sized fish. If you find yourself in the space they occupy, you are in for a fight. Lionfish will rarely move aside there is little choice but to wait until they decide you are not a threat, which can take a long time, or you can simply focus on them. In the Caribbean, this family of fish has been deemed invasive, and it's encouraged to get rid of it, as it is too healthy a predator that is decimating populations of other fish and reproducing too fast for existing predators. Here in Mozambique, it's a native species of the Indian Ocean, which is full of larger predators, keeping their population in check. There is also nice diversity in species of lionfish roaming the reefs and lagoons in this area, including a quite unique dwarf lionfish that lives among grassy bottoms of coastal lagoons. Here you can see it in comparison to a crab, in case you haven't noticed, there is actually a crab on the right hand side of the screen. Its camouflage is so great that even the dwarf lionfish hasn't noticed it from rubble scattered around in close vicinity. So it deserved a little pinch from the crab as a form of warning for breaching the crab's safety zone. A shallow water lagoon is also a perfect place for young lionfish to thrive and grow without any natural threats from predators. Their bodies are not yet fully developed, but they are already a beautiful fish. They swim rather slowly, scouring the sandy bottom for small crustaceans and bottom dwelling fish. But the calm waters of a lagoon that is full of juvenile fish are also attractive for fully grown adult lionfish to stay in. Come night and they start to hunt. Watching lionfish hunt is quite heart stopping. They stalk their prey, usually a small fish for what it seems way too long a time, only to unexpectedly attack with a lightning speed and swallow the prey whole. 